One of the things is that people keep looking to government for the answer, and government's the problem. <laughs> you, a moment ago, you, you asked, you know, about people and feeling not only confused, but right, low and, and down in America. First of all, the American people, if they would just take a little inventory and look around, you triple our troubles, and we're better off than any other people on Earth. And we've asked so much of government, and we've gotten in the habit over the last 40 years of thinking that government has the answers. There's very little that government can do as efficiently and as economically as the people can do themselves. And if government would shut the doors and sneak away for about three weeks, we'd never miss them. Now, the... If, if the people want to be okay. Our biggest problem is that we have built a permanent structure of government, federal, state, and local. The permanent employees, and they've come to the place that they actually determine policy in this country more than does the Congress of the United States. Mm -hmm. There are 14 and a half million public employees in the United States. That's quite a voting block. And the bureaus and agencies, not in Washington, I heard you talking earlier about uh, some of the research programs. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a senator the other day, and he took up some pages of the congressional record. He was his own. He wants a study and a research of transcendental meditation. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there's a state senator in Michigan, and he just found out the other day they got a $93,000 study on whether chitlins are bad for you. And, and he said that as a force some others. Can't afford to go to a doctor. Uh, well, 62% of an election can cure things, as we did in the last election. I just read. La, la, la.